Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React.js video tutorial, we will learn that how to reuse a component in the React.js. So in last video, we are actually just created a list from array, right? But that was a table. But now what I want, we will just create a list from array, but instead of table, we will use a component, right? So basically you will just get to know that how to use a component or reuse a component inside a loop inside a map function basically right as you know map function is basically generate a loop then uh, you just get to know how to pass dynamic props in a component also right so there is a lots of thing to learn in this video now let's get started this is my output screen and uh, this is my app.js here i have just a simple uh, users array and in this array we have some users information right that's all so first of all let's just make a loop with the map function and print some name or some values right then we will make a uh, another component and uh, pass some dynamic props and all so just uh, usual single sing, user sing, single curly braces just put here users dot map function and here we can just simply use here a h1 tag for a moment right and just uh, print here hello from map and you will just get to know that it printed it will print at a four time because due to this loop right that's great now how we can just show the name for that we can just take a item here right and uh, just simply put here hello and uh, item dot name right so now we have uh, four users with the hello world that's okay now what i just want to do i want to make a component and i want to place this component with the replace this component with the h1 tag so just simply use here users.js as a file name and create a function and function name can be let's say user and uh, just return some values uh, for a moment what we can do we can just return a h1 tag as we are just printing the h1 tag here right and uh, just simply put here like a user component that's great all right so now let's import it okay for that we have to we must have to export it export default then put here user yeah now import it here just simply use import user from user and first of all let's uh, try to use it without a loop just simply put here a user as an html tag you can see that and here you can see that this is working fine now let's use it inside a map like uh, this and now you can see that user component we are receiving it four times because we have the four uh, users here right and this map will just loop for four times so all right now let's uh, pass some props here i'm just going to pass here a probe with the name of data and this data will have item that's great and now we have all information inside this component but we need to print it so how we can print first of all we need a uh, parameters here like props and uh, just simply put here props dot uh, data why data because we pass the props as in data name right and then we can just simply put here like name now let's see what we are getting here we are getting user uh, name for all right so that's great okay so just replace this with the uh, span because we have a uh, four uh, you know three rows right for that oh my bad what's going with that right so we have of uh, three records like a uh, uh, email and uh, then we have uh, address sorry we have a contact but uh, we cannot use uh, span like this because we need a wrapper so just uh, put here a div like this right and now if you want then you can just make it format and now we have a 
all that up but this is not looking good so how we can just make it a little bit better look so for that like so one thing is more that we can just remove this user we don't need it here right great so now just uh, go with this pen and uh, just add some style here like padding 10 pixel background color um, let's say hash triple six and uh, font size let's say 14 pixel it's small we can put here 18 pixel and uh, line height we can also put here like uh, 40 pixel then um, just add here color like uh, white right that's all and just copy the all this CSS and just open your app.js and use it with a span dot span and this is not a class this is an element so we don't need to put here dot and now this is working fine but uh, this these are the actually overlapped so what we can do here we can just uh, make it like 16 line height for a moment and now this is looking better right we can add here more style because this is not a style so we are style video that's why we are not actually focusing on that style but yes you can use here more style like more colors and uh, size and shape whatever you want so that's all for this video that uh, you just get to know that how we can uh, use a component inside map and how we can pass the dynamic data how we can receive it all and all if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box in last video i asked the question that can we uh, just uh, replace our uh, nested table uh, on a first place yes obviously we can place there is a, no reason that we can just we cannot put it anywhere you can put it anywhere just use that uh, nested loop on a first place and then that it will basically work right so for that video there is a logical question right so and which is related to the um, uh, our app performance right so let's say uh, on a SAM click let's say you have a button like a SAM here inside a component uh, here right and on that click you just want to alert the name then where you will write your alert function so let's say you have an alert function here alert function and you will call it on uh, the click of this button from here right then where you will make this button inside the users or app and just give me reason why you will just want to put it on a user's uh, component or why you just want to put it on the app component the both have separate things and uh, they are totally logical and related to the performance right so don't forget to answer and thanks for watching this video if you still have again question and all you can ask me in the comment box this is my instagram account so join me here